Hi to my feminines. We're getting right into the Divine Masculine Love Messages video. What does your Divine Masculine has to say to you without any ego, pride, or fear? So, picking back right off the Divine Masculine Full Moon update from yesterday, they're all running energy. It's I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. And then we have I feel safer in silence. So, again, with their overall energy, with the reading I did, um, they're still in their heads. They're still withdrawn. You know, that overall energy card yesterday was all about the hermit card, this Virgo energy here. We are in a full moon in Gemini, so it's affecting Virgos, Geminis, and Sagittarius the most. So take care of yourselves because everything that's been hitting is coming to light. And whatever is falling apart, guys, um, trust in the divine purpose of that and let it go and let it flow um we need to end this year strong and i just i don't know a special message for some of you or a lot of you here but we need to end this crazy as you're strong and just keep it light and keep it flowing all right so we have your beauty so amuse me clarify it with i looked you up online to see what you've been up to here so they are looking at your pictures um and they're looking you up online the way these cards were aligned like this um they could have pictures that are saved of you in the past maybe you thought that they deleted like your number deleted your pictures out their phones um they haven't they're still admiring you they still miss you we have i should have been more honest with you about how i was feeling at the time and again my divine feminists this is them looking at you in some type of way i don't know <laughs> i hope they're not stalking you like watching you come out of work or nothing crazy shit like that but whenever they see you it's like damn like i love you i should have told you how i was feeling you know at the time here but i kept it hidden because i was scared of the strong ass connection we had and this is why they're saying, seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down, and that's not always easy to deal with because they know that you still are attractive to them. You still, you know, make them flush. You still make them have butterflies in their stomach. And it's like, I wish I could have told you this, but I was scared. And that's why we have that I feel safer in silence because we have, it's easier to just stay away right now. They're really in their heads with that full moon and eclipse. A lot of things that are hidden again are coming to light and this is them finally finding the consequences of their actions and that's why it's easier to stay away because they feel ashamed and stupid here like for some of them it's like i told you so divine feminist you told them about this karmic you told them how um, manipulative she was how she was basically not a piece of shit like she was untrustworthy like no everyone in his circle like you know didn't trust this person and it's like i see it now i see it and it's like, I miss you. I miss looking at you. Because for some of them, looking at this karma is just annoying as shit. Like, it's some of them live with them. They have kids with them. And it's just like, they just want to get the hell out. So we have, <laughs> with me saying that is, if I knew them, what I knew now, I would have made different choices. Because they're seeing the hell that they're going through here. A lot of divine feminists, like, their energy with this karma is very annoyed. Very annoyed here. We have, I know I screwed things up. And I honestly have no idea to fix it. Which is why it's easier to stay right away right now. Because they're going through a lot. This full moon is extremely powerful. It's a lunar eclipse. I mean, a lot of shit is going on here. They're filling this shit with you. They're filling this shit with these karmic situations, whether it's, you know, family members just taking advantage or friends screwing them over. It's like they see it. They want to come towards you because you were that light. Whenever they felt like this, you were the one that they um, would run to. You know, if you watched that reading yesterday, you know what I'm talking about, but... Ooh, let's clarify your beauty so amusing yeah they're dropping their pride and ego over it because it's like damn i should have been more honest with you you know they're thinking i didn't have to go through all this shit if only i was honest with my divine feminine here i wouldn't be going through any of this which is why they're disappointing in themselves with the star in reverse you know they feel hopeless your divine masculine could be in an aquarius but guess what the world is in their hands right now and they're choosing that path this full moon is moving them away from this karmic energy this queen of swords clarify looked you up online what you went up to <laughs> spirit is being funny because this page of swords flew out so they're obviously watching you they want to be funny they're holding the sword this is look at this beautiful imagery in my cards here this page of swords and the ace of swords they want to come in and talk to you give you this clarity here but the universe is still sending them downloads here if you saw that reading they're still keeping them in a waiting game a little bit um but they're feeling small which is why they're staying away which is why it's easier because they have the page of swords energy when they honestly want to just come in and tell you um 
how they feel her. Or this could also be them looking you up online and seeing the truth and seeing that you're having fun, you're living their your life, that you can live without them. I think this is the truth that they're seeing. Like, oh shit, Divine Feminist is living their lives without me and it's like selfishly here. I'm to have to read what the cards say. Um they don't want to let you go now. And look at that Herman energy I was just saying. This is that over energy in the body masculine reading yesterday. They're isolating themselves. Or they know this, that you've isolated yourself from them. And they're wondering, is that enough? Virgo energy and Taurus. <laughs> Virgo earth sign. Virgo Capricorn um, and Taurus. Yeah. I should have been more, more honest about you. Um, more honest about how I was feeling at the time. And it's because... You make them happy. There's excitement there, not only in attracting them, but there's a bond. And it's like now, it's like they know that they were under delusions here, you know, and they were under a cloud with these karmics. And for some of them, it's like they know they have to go to court to um, make things right here. You know, for some of you divine feminists, it's like if you're not showing me court, divorce papers, um, joint custody papers, this is the mother, father, the child, I don't want to deal with you. But yeah, your divine masculine could be a Libra here, but it's like if you don't see this happening, you're not going to um, fall back. And they know that. This is why seeing you reminds me of things I know deep down, and that's not always easy to deal with. This is why they're hesitating, the full and reverse. This is why there's stuff. The Eight of Swords here. Wow, divine feminines. Look at that. Look at the lovers flying out. There's that Gemini, full moon and Gemini. They're coming in to apologize, but they. They're stuck on how to apologize here, but the five of swords flew out in reverse. Look at this imagery, guys. This is beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> beautiful, but it's not. They're not taking that risk. This is what I love about tarot because the page of wands is in reverse. They're, again, hesitating. The fool is in reverse. They're hesitating. They're stuck here. The eight of swords, I always say they're not stuck. They can pull these blind modes off, but they're not. Because they know that they have to apologize, look you in the eye, and say I'm in love with you, and you've been the one for me this whole time, and I wish I could have saw it then. You know how hard that is for somebody? You have to put yourself in their shoes with this section of the reading here. Because they're saying, if I didn't create this conflict, look at these cards that are in reverse, right? If I didn't create this conflict... I would have just took this leap of faith with you. We would have been together. But no, I chose to be shady, create drama and conflict. And for some, create a baby here. Why? Because look at that hierophant. <laughs> the Taurus energy here. And look at the two of Pentacles in reverse. It just became all lopsided because they chose wrong. So I really wanted to point out that imagery here. Um, with Tarot sometimes. And this is why they're backing away. It's just easier to stay away right now. Because of all this shit. How... It's like, you know, you turn your emotions away with the Queen of Cups. They feel that because they know that they hurt you to, like, the worst extent, Divine Feminine. They know that now. And it's like with this Cancer energy, they want to come forward. Why? Because they're thinking about the past, the Six of Cups and the Chariot. But it's like they don't know how you feel. And they know your emotions. You know, you're not the Queen of Cups upright. You're Queen of Cups in reverse. They don't know if you're, if they come at, if they come towards you, if you're going to, you know, emotionally snap on them and just go off they don't know that which is why it's like it's easier to stay away they're not stagnant here the four swords is you know they're not they're no longer pondering about it they made a choice to try to talk to you but they're scared to come forward because they don't know what type of emotional uh situation you're in divine feminines i'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions here yeah because you've walked away and they feel empty <clears throat> Excuse me, Divine Feminines. They're going through a lot. And this is pushing them towards you here, which is why I'm struggling to speak up. Because <clears throat> they don't know how to say this. Like, they're walking away from things that are no longer serving them. And they don't know if that's enough. We have the six, seven, and eight of cups here, right? So it's like they're cutting through the illusions. They are eventually going to walk away from this and have a new start with you. But I'm finally thinking questions and questions on my actions. They're feeling unbalanced. For some, again, this is a child situation, and they're unbalanced. Yeah, third-party situation, nonetheless, could be a child involved in this third party. Um, again, doesn't have to be love, but we have emotions with the cups. We have temperance in the page of cups, so I have to say that. Um, why is temperance in reverse, though? Because this is interesting. Okay, this is that karmic. Because they know that they made the wrong choice, and they're facing their feelings. Ew. 
Look at that. Look at temperance when I clarify that. Ooh. Yeah, if I don't know why I know now when I made different choices because you make me happy, Divine Feminist. Look at that strong ass Leo energy. And they want to make it right. That Ten of Swords in reverse, that Ten of Cups is upright. Things are dramatically taking a turn for the worse with them and they feel so defeated. Look at that page of wands up right now. They're forced to come in and make this work because they've been through the ringer. Look at this Ten of Wands energy. This is the energy that they're ending here. But look at your Divine Masculine, Divine Feminist. They're so standing. Sagittarius energy um double leo i said aries sagittarius i know i screwed things up and honestly i don't i don't know how to fix it because this is only them in this card divine feminines they're the only ones carrying this burden because they know that this was their freaking fault because you guys would have been married by now would have been together and it's like i know i screwed things up i honestly don't know how to fix it because I want to give you this truth, right? I want to give you this clarity, but I'm showing up as this little ass page. They know they have to show up as a king and be stern and tell you how they feel. But at the same time, look at the two of cups here, divine feminists. They have to express emotions. And if you see the ten of wands here, they're struggling to communicate. The wands and the ace of sword or the sword, sorry. <laughs> it's all about communication here. We have the wands the swords and the cups here in divine feminines they're trying to be clear as day to tell you how they feel about you but they're scared to death divine feminines wow <laughs> let's see oh, let's pour some love oracles this is a powerful reading i'm not even kidding date meeting someone new dating yeah they want to date and take it slow not enough frustrated in relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego issues jealousy because they're showing up as this page anything else girl with the snake impetus narcissist being charmed or used enable boundaries yeah they have to enable boundaries with this karmic in order to come towards you and that's why they're struggling too look at all this healing from heartbreak healing, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction and heartbroken. Look, a lot of shit is coming out to light. Why? Because we have camera hair, reminiscing, cute sake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. A lot of cards came out here. Separation, sadness, again, missing you, thinking about you, yearning you, unsure of future engagement ring, <laughs> engagement partnership, commitment, attorney, completion, union. And then we have coffee cup, meeting and conversing. Yeah, they're coming in, but it's going to take some time. We're getting into a new year, so we'll see. We have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving, affection, falling in love. Because they're going through so much shit, divine feminines, and they're falling in love. They realize they're in love with you. Like, they can, you're the one that they cannot live without, and they're struggling um, crazy as shit right now. Like, my energy is all crazy right now because they're going through it. Because now they throw stab in the back. The karma is there. They're reaping what they're sowing right now. Which is why they're saying I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions here. Because now they throw stab in the back. So be patient, divine feminists. Continue to take care of yourself. I preach all the time that the divine, the twin flame union is divine, right? So you have to do the healing. If you're on your divine masculine pages, checking on this karmic every day, checking on their pages every day. Their vibration is going to stay low and they're going to keep falling deeper in love with the karmic. They're going to keep falling for this karmic. They're going to keep being in that low vibration. You have to raise your your vibrations, divine feminines, even the divine masculines here, in order to be with this person. So it's all about your decisions, divine feminines. And this is what this full moon is exposing. See, my throat is getting caught up again because they have something to say, but they're scared, all right? So I really hope this helps Divine Feminines. If you like a personal reading on what your Divine Masculine wants to say to you, please go to my website below. Thank you so much for all the support.